Hello. Hello. Good, af good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar. Uh, today's subject is very interesting. It's around TikTok shop growth strategies using Avisam verified inventory. I'm Tejas Dave, uh, the CEO and founder of Avisam and a business guru. And I'm really excited to have you all here today as we dive into one of the most exciting opportunities in e-commerce right now, leveraging the TikTok shop to boost your sales. Uh, joining me today, we have two industry experts who bring uh, a wealth of knowledge and expertise uh, to the table. Uh, Makan, uh, who is uh, one of the uh, one of the participants on this event, he is just about to join, so I will hold on to his introduction. But in the meantime, I would like to introduce you to Vanessa, who is with us, uh, who is a digital and content creator who specializes in creating an engaging content that drives results on uh, social media, especially on TikTok. She will be guiding us through the best practices for creating compelling product listings uh, and the content uh, that resonate with TikTok's unique audience. Uh, and together we will explore how can you effectively increase your product listings on TikTok shop using Amazon. And more importantly, how to turn uh, those listings into profitable sales. So let's get you started. Hey, hey, hi, uh, Mekhan, uh, thank you. Uh, I was just waiting for you to join uh, as you have joined now. So, hey guys, I was saying that I hold on to your introduction. So Mekhan, uh, he is the TikTok shop manager uh, and he has been at the forefront of TikTok's the rapid expansion, especially into the e-commerce agency uh, partner. And he will be sharing some valuable insights on how can you maximize this platform to grow your business. So without wasting much time, I will do a quick uh, run through about the agenda. Today we are going to cover uh, the four key areas, social selling on TikTok shop, top trending products on Avisam, benefits of Avisam and TikTok, and question and answer. Uh, but as we normally do is to go through the overview of uh, Avisam. So Avisam is a leading multi-channel dropshipping platform and marketplace where we virtually connect the brand owners, distributors, and wholesalers with online retailers and market, uh, market, marketplace sellers uh, to source and sell verified inventory. Uh, we, we offer various number of uh, subscription packaging, packages starting from $24.99 to $199.99. Uh, we automate the core underlying process, mainly covering the product listing, store optimization, marketplace promotion, uh, and also inventory synchronization as well. We have partnered ourselves with uh, industry uh, partners such as TikTok, Shopify, Wix, Ecamm, OnBuy, Wish, uh, and many others. Uh, we have over 450,000 SKUs now available on the platform and over two. Uh, at any given time, over 2,450 uh, online sellers available on our platform. We have won over 14 industry awards in the last uh, five years, uh, and we are still counting. Uh, so, moving to the next part of our uh, agenda, which is social selling on TikTok shop, which is going to be covered by Makan. Makan, over to you. Thank you very much, Tejas. Appreciate the, the very kind introduction. Um, so I guess a quick brief introduction to myself, just to reiterate, um, I am one of the TSB managers here within the TikTok team. Uh, TSB stands for TikTok Shop Partners. And essentially, these are our agencies that we have identified um, as high potential, and we've partnered up with them to help us grow the, tic the, the TikTok ecosystem together. And one of these TSBs is Avasam, which I've had the privilege of working with for a few months now. Um, although I know that they have been a partner of TikTok for, for much longer. But brilliant. I guess now we can kind of jump into this uh, presentation. Now, there's no surprise to anyone that social commerce is definitely making um, headlines in, in the news today. Um, and at the forefront of this phenomenon is a TikTok shop. 
as we can see from the statistics in front of us, uh, social commerce uh, penetration is expected to 3x um, in the next two years. And on top of that, the social e-commerce market is, is projected to grow to 64 billion just in, um, in the uh, UK marketplace. So that's solely looking at the UK marketplace on its own. We actually had a presentation this morning from our UK um, country director who has now um, shared with us some new statistics that social commerce in the UK is projected to grow to 120 billion by 2028. Um, so yeah, it seems like it's continuously scaling um, as although UK is, is a, an incredibly important marketplace and, and kind of worldwide actor um, from, a, from an economic perspective, um, you know, you might look at the UK and, and, and think perhaps it's a, a smaller country uh, you know, when, when you're looking at the likes of the US and, and China um, and other other states. But it's important to note that UK has the third biggest e-commerce marketplace in the entire world. So that's really a significant um, st statistics to share with you guys. And um, credit to how important e-commerce and social e-commerce is for customers in, in the UK. Now we're moving on to, to, to the next slide. Now, many of you may have heard of the hashtag TikTok made me buy it uh, phenomenon. It's quite quite a notorious one um, where a very interesting proof of concept was confirmed. And what took place was that um, users were encouraged to go onto TikTok shop and create creative content uh, describing their experience, you, uh, purchasing of new products and then uh, adopting the the hashtag TikTok made me buy it, and this was before TikTok Shop was officially rolled out onto the UK marketplace. And what this told us is that there is an appetite for social commerce um, on on TikTok, and so that encouraged the the leadership team to roll out TikTok Shop here in the UK marketplace. And since then, there has been seventy one billion views, video views um of um of videos with the hashtag tiktok made me buy it um phenomenon now in addition to that um i think it's important to note that there are around 20 million uh daily active users on tiktok so that in itself presents a huge opportunity for brands and businesses that want to optimize that customer engagement and, and, and convert. So that in itself presents a humongous opportunity. And what we found is that two out of three users uh, that use TikTok on a daily basis are likely to buy something whilst browsing. And on top of that, I believe that figure um, is incorrect or, or the, the number isn't appearing, um, but 47% um, of TikTok users said they bought something on 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 TikTok. Um, I just believe that the initial figure isn't isn't appearing. So almost half of people that have ever used TikTok have purchased something on a TikTok shop. Now, if we so, yeah, so Makan, you are correct. Actually, this is animation, but uh, for some reason, yeah. uh, this webinar tool is not allowing to run that. But the correct number is forty seven. So you are right. Brilliant. Uh, I thought so. <laughs> Sometimes with these um, live figures, they, they don't update when sharing them. But um, now moving on. So what's been remarkable is that within the few years that TikTok shop has been rolled out in the UK marketplace, it has quickly climbed up the ranks to become the third most effective way, most effective channel um, to convert customers. It has even um, overtaken in-person display stores, TV advertising, and even Instagram and Facebook ads, which in themselves, in their own rights, are quite powerful ways of, of outreaching to customers and converting. Uh, but TikTok has exceeded all of these different uh, pathways. Now, only the only ones that kind of beat TikTok videos is via kind of family and friend 
uh, recommendations. Um, but you know, no, nobody can say that in the next couple of years it might even uptake those two different uh, channels. So a re really powerful statistic there, um, and one for us to kind of really reflect on on the power of the TikTok um, platform. Brilliant. Um, now moving on to the next slide. Now the TikTok algorithm and and machine is driven by what we call internally the four C's. And that's really what we, uh, that what is behind the purchasing power on TikTok. Now the four C's stand for, um, well, what the, the first C is creators, which truly are the backbone of TikTok shop. Because TikTok started off as a platform where creators, influencers, or even everyday people were encouraged to go on the platform and express themselves freely, creatively, authentically. And as I mentioned, they, that truly forms the, the backbone and the skeleton of TikTok. Now that's complemented by, of course, the content, right? Because creators, um, they go on, to the, uh, on the platform and they create engaging and inspiring content for us viewers to, to, to watch. Um, we always encourage content to be authentic um, because we feel like that yields the best results because as cliched as this sounds, there, are, there aren't uh, two of us in this world. We're, we're, unique in, we're, unique, we're all unique individuals and that uniqueness really helps um, kind of drive and push forward that, that algorithm. And then the combination of these two then in turn creates a community. So creators might, you know, start discussing certain products, create certain trending content, and then that in itself creates um, a community and a wider culture uh, that encompasses the purchasing force uh, behind behind the TikTok behind TikTok and the TikTok algorithm. Brilliant. One of my favorite things about TikTok Shop and why I believe it's been so effective and so effective quickly is it's fully integrated um, uh, shop solution. So what that means is that a viewer like myself or anybody that's viewing this uh, presentation can go onto the app, browse through different um, content, whether that's via live or video form, click a product, um, and then check out in as little as three steps as demonstrated here on, on, on these pictures. And you can do all of that without leaving the application. So without leaving the app, whereas this is not the case for many other, um, other platforms. I mean, if you, even if you just look at Instagram, for example, often you might see advertisements for different products. As soon as you click on them, it'll take you to a different website. Um, and I believe that's the same for, for Facebook as well. So it really creates a seamless experience for the user, um, which again, encourages um, engagement and in turn conversion as well. Brilliant. I guess this is more of what I kind of just explained, um, but I really, feel like this page is, is, is emphasizing the fact that it's a kind of full loop solution where you browse, you select and you, you buy the product and then you advocate through promoting the product again via content. Um, so then it creates an, a, a kind of a, a fully looped solution that um, keeps users engaged within the app. Now, let's discuss a few different uh, modes of selling via TikTok shop. Now, I'm not sure how much the audience, audience um, in, in today's webinar um, knows about selling on TikTok shop. So we're going to kind of start from the very foundations um, and, and go through the different modes. Now, we have live shopping. So this is something if, it's quite a common way of shopping, uh, which is probably my favorite because it allows brands um, and even creators on behalf of brands showcase products live. So in live video 
to customers where they can engage with the customer, uh, the customers and answer their questions in live time, uh, whilst also showcasing the products, demonstrating some of the product features, or just simply describing how the product, what the product experience has been like, um, but also being authentic about it, showing, sharing the pros, showing the cons, um, and being very true and authentic um, about their, their experience with it. So again, one of, one of my very favorite ways of, of selling on TikTok shop. Now we also have kind of shoppable videos, which range from a few seconds long, a video being a few seconds long, so about a couple minutes. Um, but really the sweet spot is around kind of the kind of 10 to 15 second mark, just to ensure that engagement is kept kind of high. Um, again, this is when creators or brands can create content and tag products onto those videos which then allows the um, users to, to kind of click on it um, in a seamless fashion to purchase it in, you know, if they, if they, if that's what they decide to, to kind of do now, sorry, if we can kind of just go back on the, on the, on the previous slide, because there's the product showcase and, and the shop tab as well. Now with the showcase, um, so that this is a brand dedicated page of available products um for purchase on tiktok shop um where it um it, it provides a very intuitive uh shopping experience that your that that shoppers that users are probably quite familiar with especially when you look at the likes of like ebay or amazon it's almost like a reflection of that so a more traditional way of shopping and users can uh, browse through a brand's showcase I, uh, if a product is of interest to them, they could select them and then view additional images or potentially also additional bullet points describing the product. Then we also have the shop tab. Now, the shop tab, um, <clears throat> excuse me, is can, can be found um, on the shop button on the TikTok navigation bar um, and really the, it provides a really personalized experience for, for the users. So based off your browse history on TikTok shop, by the way, um, it will, prov it will recommend different various products, um, that they, that the algorithm believes you would be interested in. In addition to that, any different campaigns that take place on TikTok shop, whether that's Father's Day, Marvel's Day, or we've got Cyber Monday, Black Friday coming up in November, those sort of deals will be presented on the shop tab uh, page. So it's a, it's a great page to browse, if, especially if you want to uh, check out some really like good discounts, good deals, and um, definitely a sales channel that I would look to optimize as a new merchant. Brilliant. Awesome. So now I believe this might, might be the final kind of slide uh, that I will be presenting. But essentially, I just wanted to quickly run through how the viewers today can set up their shops and register in simply just four very simple uh, methodical steps. The first step is just to head to Seller Center page. This will look very similar to your kind of your Amazon Seller Center page. Uh, so if you're familiar with that, uh, the, the Seller Center page for TikTok is, is quite similar. Of course, there are some differences, but... Essentially, you head to there, you um, provide your details, whether that's, uh, which would be your phone number, email, it will send an invitation code, which you then need to just kind of verify, um, upload the relevant documents. So you do need to upload um, photo identification and also have that verified. Typically, it doesn't take too long. Typically, it can take as little as kind of like an hour or two where you'll receive an email notification that your account's your, your shop's been uh, approved, um, or in some occasions it can take slightly longer. It really depends on the period of the year and, and how busy basically um, the team is. But one thing to mention is with the support and collaboration of Avasam, these are st stuff that you can uh, potentially expedite as well um, with their partnership. Um, and that's pretty much it. We've also included a QR code there. Uh, which you know you can you can scan right now, which will take you to the seller center page, and you can immediately get going with these four steps if you wish. Um, but otherwise, you can always save that QR code for for another time.
brilliant that was pretty much it from from my side from my side thank you very much for, for listening thank you Makan. i think that is very very useful uh, to go over the stats and highlighting the importance of uh, you know tiktok shop and how uh, how its presence is growing and how the consumers are um, adapting the whole uh, uh, the the new way of uh, you know buying the products or viewing the products on uh, online. Uh, the next section uh, on our webinar today is uh, how to source uh, top trending products uh, with Appsum. So, as you are aware, that we spend a lot of time uh, curating the list of the suppliers where we evaluate the suppliers. We make sure that the suppliers have the right inventory. The inventory, what they have. Uh, they deliver those inventory on time, and uh, and at the same time, the quality uh, of the products uh, uh, not get on, uh, compromised, and also it meets the service uh, standards SLA, which has been set by TikTok or it's been set up by uh, any other marketplace which is out there. So the way we actually uh, made this whole process uh, simplified by creating a three-step process. That what you need to do is to sign up. Uh, with Avisam, if you haven't opened an account with uh, Avisam, uh, the second, I mean, there is a navigation bar where you can actually go through the step by step, uh, uh, look at the videos, and you can integrate your respective sales channels, whether it is a TikTok shop or whether it is your Shopify account. Um, identify what products you like to sell. I mean, that is going to be super important. Um, and and the last is uh, once you identify that products, uh, find those products. Uh, list those products using Avisan, and and then uh, you promote it, and that's the area where Vanessa will go into deep dive. That you know what are the key things you need to uh, bear in mind uh, yeah. when you are actually optimizing the listing or when you are promoting the listing uh, on uh, TikTok uh, channel. Uh, moving on, uh, what we have done here uh, is highlighted. Uh, the list of authorized suppliers uh, which you can actually uh, consider sourcing the products on uh, on a TikTok. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure Vanessa will go into more detail, but at high level, uh, when we identify any of these suppliers, we make sure the products uh, what are available, they are trending products and they are in line with uh, uh, the business uh, requirement and TikTok requirement as well. So over to you, Vanessa, on this. Thank you, Tejas, for the lovely introduction. And thank you, McCann, for just really explaining everything that goes into uh, selling on TikTok shop. I think for myself, what I'm going to just really dive deep into is all of these authorized suppliers, the different types of uh, products that you can actually promote on TikTok shop in the vast majority of ways that, that McCann had just mentioned. Um, so straight off the bat, when I looked at the slides prior to this call, uh, what really stuck out in my mind was the very first picture here in the slide. It is the actual, um, what are they called? They're, they're whiskey stones that you put into your drink um, and obviously some glassware and things like that. Um, so, you know, just finding these really kind of uh, specific niche sort of products can be kind of, you know, difficult to sift through. But obviously what we've done here at Abbasam is really kind of uh, cultivated these um, listings here for you guys to select from. Um, so you can see obviously that we have um, a supplier for the whiskey stones and the glassware. You have a supplier here for beauty products that are specifically made for um, skincare and tanning. And then you have suppliers for all sorts of things like watches, gifts, toys, seasonal decor. You can see a cuckoo clock there, a watch, and even a chocolate fountain. Um, you can even see here with one of the electronic um, and phone tablet accessory suppliers here they have a specific feature whereby you can actually associate the correct device to the correct the correct uh, accessory using a uh, color-coded scheme as well and then of course what is uh, consistently trending season after season after season guys is really uh, home decor um, fashion beauty things like that so we're gonna dive deep into all of those um, make sure you take you know you can take a quick screenshot of this uh, 
list if you want to uh, take a, take note of all of the supplier codes that we have that are authorized for TikTok shop. You could go ahead and do that in five, four, three, two, one. All right. Uh, so yeah, just going into that um, little basis here, the uh, men's category is getting huge at this at this point. Um, so it's growing ever so um, rapidly, I would say. And this is an amazing um, gift set that you can get somebody. Um, so you can see that it supplies in major retailers. It's a perfect gift idea and you get free postage there as well. So this is gonna be for your whiskey connoisseur. And then just things to consider when selecting products to sell on TikTok shop. I'm not going to read everything here, but I just want you guys to see the main points is you have to look at it from, uh, you know, the, the consumer's standpoint is why are they going to buy this product and why buy now? What's the story that you're telling either on your TikTok live stream or your actual videos and even just the way in which you're optimizing your product story on the TikTok shop page itself in terms of photos and the description, et cetera. And then of course the storyteller and how you're actually telling that story. You wanna be engaging as it were. And we can go into a bit more detail with that if you guys have any questions towards the end, but I'm just gonna go through uh, these slides here. Okay, so this is a supplier of cookware and bakeware. Guys, if you have been living under a rock, <laughs> you wouldn't know this, but actually um, there is a huge cooking niche on the TikTok platform. And this is probably one of the, I would say it's an easy thing to uh, make content for, but it's also quite time consuming. Uh, but at the same time, these types of products are always in demand, right? Cooking stuff, uh, cookware and things like that. So this is perfect for back to university, which I'll get into in just a moment, guys. The, and there's a difference really between back to school niche and back to university, which we'll get into. Um, it's been a bestseller uh, in Q4. It sells all year round, as we said. And uh, it, you have costs from uh, starting at £14.60, which is quite reasonable as well. It's just taking a while there. Okay, amazing. So we have a well-established supplier of unbranded bestsellers. Now, this is really exciting for me because we actually work directly with a client who sells uh, similar products of this kind of caliber, and they make a lot of money on the platform because these are products that are in demand, in need, can be reasonably competitively priced on the platform as well. Um, so for example, I just want you to quickly take a look at the bottom left uh, hand side you're going to see these little dehumidifiers those went viral earlier this year during the cold season so you want to kind of think about that when you're going into uh the the autumn season as we're about to go into uh people are dealing with damp in their houses so there's a, a ton of different strategic ways in which you can actually make content revolving around dehumidifying your your cupboards closets and all of those things right and then, of course, you have things like um, you can see there is uh, like blue roll, kitchen roll. Funnily enough, my my one colleague always makes a joke every time we, we kind of talk to clients and things like that, that you can literally sell t uh, um, tissue paper and uh, loo roll on TikTok shop. There's people that go live streaming for eight hours selling toilet roll. I swear on my life, that is what it is. Um, and so guys, there is also a distributor of a, a distributor of branded technology products as well. A range of accessories starting from £1.35 and postage from £3. So again, guys, we're looking at uh, things that are, you know, in demand. People want and, and need these products. So um, it's uh, really your opportunity to find a way to actively sell these items on TikTok um, in such a way that people aren't just going to get off the platform and buy it off of any other e-commerce platform. So you can get really creative with that as well. Um, and that's always something that you can create content for, live streams, etc. cetera. Um, okay, again, a fashionable fashion bag, sunglasses, footwear. There are thousands of products available and they already have jackets for the autumn and winter already available. And guys, if you 
think it's too early to be promoting things for the fall and winter, you uh, wouldn't be uh, further from the truth, okay? You can actually go into TK Maxx right now and it's all Halloween stuff at the minute, right? So you guys want to start getting into those uh, seasons way before you think you need to. Um, and of course, guys, the fashion niche is huge. This particular supplier has amazing images that you can really utilize as well for your um, optimization of your of your listings as well. And uh, this can be very, very useful, not only for your own content and live streams. People do live streams all the time, selling different uh, articles of clothing and footwear and things like that. But if you have the capacity as well, if you're able to do um, if you're able to do affiliate um, strategy as well, if you have the ability and capacity to do uh, samples as well for uh, affiliates, you could really, really uh, skyrocket your business that way as well. Uh, because girls love to do a fashion show on TikTok, I can tell you that. Uh, and they will do that marketing for you, which is really great. Just going to switch slides here. Okay, selection of autumn products to source from Avasam. So we already talked about the um, dehumidifier there. Another popular um, type of product is anything that does laundry related things like an air, uh, sorry, a laundry rack, um, you know, to dry your clothing and things like that. that. That actually went, a lot of those actually went very viral earlier this year as well. Um, and then uh, what I, I had a little giggle at this, a cat radiator bed. For those of you cat lovers out there guys there are so many uh cat uh, sorry uh, pet lovers on the uh platform so you really want to leverage that niche as well and then of course like we talked about uh there is a puffer jacket there that you can actually source as well um and then we also have a uh wired mat as well for uh you know the the wet season that is upon us as well okay so uh, what is trending in September? We already talked a bit about this, but Halloween decor is in full swing um, in the stores right now. And actually, funnily enough, last month, I was already starting to see on my own For You page uh, content revolving around Halloween. So people are getting into that spooky season. Now, uh, you'll see below, guys, there's a bunch of different categories that we have here that streamlined for you. You'll see that it says welcome to uni. Um, and I wanted to touch base on this because uh, if you can't tell from my accent I am from North America I'm Canadian and right now on the for you pages starting in August is all the American University students going to school and they're going crazy decorating their dormitories right now so all of their dorms are getting decorated and that's gone viral on the platform so I can only imagine what the UK students are now wanting to do in their own dorm rooms and uh, decorate to to the nine so um, welcome to university is definitely a bigger, wider, more exciting niche than just back to school, which is very uh, limited and, and uh, you know, just not as expensive. OK, um, so again, we have discounted products as well on the platform. So you want to look out for the special offers at the first of each month. Um, and like I said, guys, uh, you know, you have to start kind of thinking about seasonally where you're at. It says your garden tidy is a great story for September, right? Because people are preparing uh, for the, the fall, for the autumn. So um, the these are all just things you want to uh, think about. And then I like how we have your underwear and socks. Like, of course, obviously, that's a year round thing. But obviously, uh, when we're going into those colder months, people start uh, stocking up because I think during the heat wave, everybody wants to um, remove their clothes rather than <laughs> bundle up. So um, I think this might be over to Tejas. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Vanessa, to going through uh, the trending suppliers and the current range, what uh, what is available. There are quite a few questions here on live chat, guys. I really love the enthusiasm and the questions, what you're firing around uh, around the products, uh, which, are, which we will cover uh, during the question answers as well, any of the questions you have. But at a high level, um, you know, I wanted to just address this point that TikTok has a very strict guidelines to protect uh, their user base. So they only allow the products where uh, to sell, which the products has authorization. Also, guys, TikTok has uh, also one of the criteria where the dropshipping is not allowed from the cross-border su supply. So we work with TikTok closely and we make sure 
that whatever the products we make sure are, are available uh, to sell has the authorization, it has uh, necessary documentation. So in case if TikTok asks you to sell those products, I mean, it asks you to provide any proofs, you are covered and you won't find any restrictions. Hence, um, you may find that uh, the restrictions are there, but it is there to to help you. It is not there uh, to, to cause the problem. Uh, the another thing with regards to uh, the range of the products, what we offered, uh, the, the, the Theracy has asked the question why it is available, because Avesam is a multi-channel platform. So some products may not be suitable for, for TikTok, but it is available for other channels like Shopify, or it could be available for eBay. Hence, uh, those products and uh, products are available uh, on our platform. Now, what we are highlighting here is that what Avisam and TikTok Shop uh, can do for you. Um, so as you know that TikTok, TikTok has uh, a very unique way of selling um, online. It is it is different than how you sell on eBay and Amazon. Uh, so we provide account management support, uh, especially for Amazon business and guru subscribers, uh, where we allow uh, uh, we we allow our merchants to work with uh, TikTok team directly, and we help them to onboard on TikTok, help them to integrate and optimize the listings uh, and give the prior access to the, 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 the premium products and also to the seller community uh, with the exclusive tips uh, from TikTok. Um, also, another biggest advantage you will have is that you, uh, you will pay a reduced commission. As you uh, may know that from 5th of September, uh, TikTok is increasing their commissions from 5% to 9%. But if you haven't opened a TikTok shop account, uh, and many of you I heard that hasn't got a TikTok shop, if you open an account uh, using this partnership, there will be 0% transaction fee for first 90 days. And that can give you, again, a huge start, uh, start and boost for you to um, you know, test this market and make sure that you can be competitive against uh, anyone uh, which is out there. Also, uh, with this partnership, we we secure a special products and shopping vouchers, and it can go up to 25% discount, uh, you know, against the products what you sell uh, using Avisan. Uh, also, we help the merchants to, uh, uh, to actually get access uh, to the marketing opportunities, especially the banners uh, uh, having uh, part of the different campaigns, what TikTok does, we 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 help you to be in front of those uh, opportunities, so you can make the most out of it. And uh, and and the last but not least is having uh, access to the local UK-based TikTok shop managers uh, plays a very important uh, role. And through our support, through our partnership, we can get you the access to that uh, to the direct uh, support from the local account managers in the UK. Right. Uh, moving on uh, from the benefits, the, the my favorite section, which is the question and answer. So I'm going to open the floor now with the with any questions uh, you may have regarding the platform, regarding the TikTok show, how it works. Uh, Makan can cover those questions from his side uh, to answers from the TikTok front. Any questions related to content? Uh, you know, what are the strategies one should use? Vanessa can actually cover that as well. And anything from the platform point of view, I'm more than happy to cover uh, uh, as well. Okay, so while we are waiting for the questions to come through, uh, the one question I have uh, for you, uh, Makan, uh, which we which we discussed, uh, yeah, you know, today as well. That what is your take? Like, what you are seeing right now, um, you know, which is trending? What are the things our sellers should consider while they uh, while they source the products from Avisan? You know, so if you share that tips with this audience that will be hugely beneficial absolutely um i would start off by saying 
um, get familiar with the TikTok and the TikTok shop app. So invest time into browsing through it and going through the user experience, looking at different products, looking at different uh, brands and merchants, and even creators are promoting products. What type of products are they promoting? Um, and from there, you can kind of build an idea of which products tend to do um, a little bit better on, on, on TikTok. And you can kind of start off with those. Um, but at the same time, we are a platform that encourages all types of products to, to uh, all types of brands and products to, to be listed on our, on our, on our platform and, and create a, a great user experience. Um, but having said that, there will be some products that tend to do a bit better. Uh, just based off the current maturity of the of, of the platform. I will then follow up and say what we are seeing um, that's doing incredibly well is ShopTab optimization. So ShopTab is the sales channel that I presented to you um, a little bit earlier on in this presentation. And so making sure that you optimize there and you're participating in any eligible campaigns, you're providing um, kind of splash deals where feasible and possible that really helps with conversions and also pushing the TikTok algorithm. Then I would kind of go on to say, um, my other tip is consistency. So being consistent with TikTok shop is incredibly important. So just making sure that you're consistently experimenting, especially at the beginning and the initial phase with different types of content, whether you're, you know, you're, you're keeping your eye out on what's trending, what kind of music you can implement, um is it a product description video or is it a more trending video whatever that may be experiment at the in, in the first kind of few weeks or so maybe give yourself a month to experiment and then quickly you'll start to realize that certain types of content will do better for your brand than than others and then once you've ident identified those then my suggestion is start doubling down on them so doing more of those in month two and then sprinkling that, sprinkling a little bit of ads on top as well to kind of scale those um, sales. Brilliant, thank you. And the question I have for Vanessa, you know, you've been working with many brands uh, very closely, also uh, generating the content, managing the championships, also with the affiliates as well. Uh, what? advice or tip you would like to give uh, to our listeners uh, that what are the things they should keep in mind, especially from last couple of months experience, what you have, um, you know, that uh, they, they like do's and don'ts uh, while they're preparing the content. Yeah, so if we're just talking specifically about content, I think McCann brought up a good point of even just um, really researching the platform to begin with. And what you can do is actually a competitor analysis and research, you know, what are the competitors doing? What kind of content um, is receiving high engagement and really studying it? Like, what is it about the content that is making people stick around? And nine times out of 10, it really is an audio and video visual hook that captures people's attention from the get-go. You do want to have a little bit of an understanding of sales psychology, but you don't have to be an expert in that by any means. I think that for content creation in general, really practice does make per, per, uh, perfect. Like you have to consistently be posting in order to get better at creating content. Like if you're only producing, you know, a video here and a video there, and you're wondering why your account is flopping, it's really because, well, you're not making enough content to begin with. And so the uh, quality of your content is likely not going to be very strong. Um, and so, yeah, I think in terms of just from a content perspective, it's consistency, it's uh, research, it's experimentation, it's trial and error, it's a lot of patience, okay, because sometimes you think you've made the most fantastic, beautiful video production that has ever been graced on the platform, and then you realize it got five views, right? So you do have to be kind of adaptive to uh, the platform and really open to experimentation and just don't give up. I think it's consistency at the end of the day and a lot of experimentation. Thank you, Vanessa. Um, what, what I have noticed, uh, you know, seeing 
the the brand's uh, performance, especially in last uh, three months, uh, I mean, straight after the last webinar we have done, that um, TikTok has a huge potential, guys. But uh, like McCann mentioned, that it requires uh, it requires uh, consistency, it requires a patience, and it requires uh, authenticate, unique. Uh, unique content and if you actually work towards it it won't happen overnight i mean i have used quite a few jargon words here uh, on this but it takes a time but if you actually do this persistently like any other thing you will get better with it um i've been asked the questions on uh, on on a q a is uh, you know the products which are available on amazon uh, sometimes they find that similar products are available on TikTok or eBay as well. So how and 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 how can be how can they be more competitive on a price? So the way I would recommend, guys, that there will be always someone who who will be cheaper than uh, cheaper than you. Whether you do this via dropshipping or whether you actually buy a, even a container, right? There will be always a one big fish who will who will do better than you. So the way I actually notice that the other dropshippers are doing really good uh, is by coming up with their own bundle, by coming up with their own unique, uh, uh, unique way of offering the products. And by doing this, there is no like to like comparison. So as an example, let's say you are selling a, a backpack, right? Or school bag and you actually, I mean, Along with that station, along with that back, a school bag or backpack, you attach the stationery. By doing this, you are creating a bundle, and that that way you are actually be presenting yourself as a completely uh, different than others. And that way, there won't be a like to like uh, comparison. Uh, another question: What we actually have here is from Obey that uh, what would what should we do when the items go out of the stock? So my recommendation on that is uh, dropshipping is all about partnership. So you need to make sure that you build up a good partnership with your supplier. You make sure that you, uh, what are the products you decide to double down on? Like well, when I say double down, whether you want to put create a content on it, you want to promote it. You discuss with uh, Avasam support team as well and with your suppliers that, guys, I'm going to work with this SKUs. Can you please help and make sure that there is a consistent stock supply? Uh, so that's one area which I would recommend. And the second is when the items are uh, when the items are reaching the minimum stock level, uh, reach out uh, to the support team and the supplier and and get the ETA that when the stock uh, is going to be back. This is going to be very important that you do that because by doing this, you are keeping your customer informed uh, that when the item is going to come back or if one of your video goes viral and you you don't lose the opportunity by not actually presenting, uh, uh, not losing out by not having a stock on that item. So that's what my uh, recommendation uh, to you on this uh, obey. Uh, that uh, having a communication will actually help you to uh, to resolve your out of stock or restock uh, situation. Uh, we also have a question from uh, Nasir: uh, Is that what will be the warehouse address uh, in TikTok shop um, which you should enter? Uh, so if you are actually collecting, if you are going to sell the products uh, across multiple suppliers, in that case, you won't be able to set the multiple warehouse address so i would recommend in that case you can put your own address uh, 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 your own postcode as a warehouse location but if you are working with a very specific supplier from avasam when the list has been presented to uh, presented by vanessa earlier uh, if you are working with a very specific one you can ask the customer service team and we can provide you the address as well which you can put as a warehouse address um, another question we have from brian uh, is that what do I do if the customer requires a refund and return process? So guys, uh, returns and refunds is a part of the process and we need to be efficient with it. We cannot shy away uh, with the return and refund process. So we, Avasan does have, offer uh, 
you know, very streamlined process for return and refund. Uh, if you are unsure how the process works, you can refer to our documentation, Ryan. Um, and if you are still unsure, you can reach out to us via chat and someone will be able to assist you with our return and refund uh, process. Uh, okay. Uh, I see that uh, Mike has mentioned that it got frozen, but it, it it's back again. So I'm not sure, Mike, uh, you know, which part you couldn't able to hear, but uh, we are going to share the recording of this particular webinar as well, uh, along with the deck. So anyone who attended, if they want to refer to any of the slide, uh, you will get access of this as well. Uh, is there any other questions anyone is having today? It sounds like no question. Uh, so uh, before we conclude, uh, you know, I just want to uh, thank you, Makan. I know you have a very busy schedule, but thank you for finding a time and talking to us today uh, and sharing your insight, uh, especially for 2028 forecast. Uh, uh, that is very uh, new to us that uh, it's, it's going to reach 230 uh, is it 132 billion, right? Uh, you mentioned uh, that's that's huge, guys. Um, and uh, also, thank you, uh, Vanessa, as well, uh, for sharing uh, the insights as a creator, as an influencer, that what we should keep in mind. Um, I mean, what our sellers should keep in mind while preparing the content. And uh, I received uh, a request from many of you that you you will prefer us to have a call uh, to guide you, uh, you know, how to set up the store. So I'm just sharing a message here is that if you reach out to us uh, via, via email, we will sc schedule a video call to assist you to get you going as soon as possible. Uh, we have one question. Most of all the products are brand. Should I continue to list to TikTok as no brand or how does it go? So Mike, uh, I think, uh, uh, it's a very good question. So if the product's been authorized, uh, if we have actually mentioned that this product is permitted to sell, then you should actually sell as a brand because the brand already have spent a lot of time to build their product. So my suggestion is that uh, uh, that you use the brand. But if, if it is a generic product, if it doesn't have a brand, then you can use the no brand product. You know, that's what my recommendation is. Uh, supports take uh, so many times to reply in the three to four, five days before that reply. Uh, so thank you for your feedback. Uh, normally, uh, you know, we have a SLA uh, to reach to reach out to to attend all the tickets within 24 hours. When the when you mention that it takes three to four days, it may be from the supplier. But if you again flag that. Uh, to us, uh, that any specific supplier where you are having consistent issue, uh, then we can reach out to the supplier. We can talk to the uh, to the management team and make sure that uh, they come back to you fast enough. And as I mentioned, that look, I have shared the email address. Uh, I will personally get involved into those uh, video calls and making sure that any helps you need to set up. Uh, uh, set up your account on TikTok, we will help you. And also cover any concerns like this on that call as well. And make sure there won't be any charge for it. It will be uh, the value added service we want to offer to all of our users. All right, so once again, thank you everyone uh, for joining this uh, webinar. Uh, we really appreciate for all of you to finding a time and talking to us. And we will come down uh, again next month with another interesting topic and and help you help you all thank you guys and looking forward to speaking with you uh next month happy dropshipping thank you bye thank you bye, bye.